What are the missions to this here? Now, one film that Hollywood's been trying to go off the ground for years has been a new take of Red Sanja. I remember going back all the way, I believe in the late 90s or early 2000, uh, Robert Rodriguez was sent to direct uh, Rose McGowan in a new uh, Red Sanja, but that never really came to fruition. Then, of course, not so long ago, it was announced that uh, uh, that the girl who played Ghost, uh, Hannah John Kamen, you know, who played Ghost in uh, that recent Ant-Man movie, Ant-Man the Wasp, she was originally cast, but then uh, she, you know, dropped out because of scheduling conflict and everything like that. Well, it looks like Red Sanja is now finally up to speed because they have found its uh, new star. Um, according to, um, to Deadline, Revenge star Matilda, Matilda Lutz, along with uh, the likes of Wallace Day from Sex Life fame and um, the Umbrella Academy's Robert Sheehan, has been tasked to play the lead cast in, in Millennium Media's upcoming comic book film, Red Sanja, which will be directed by Solomon Kane director MJ Bassett, which Solomon Kane was in the How to Cook film. So, yeah, that's a little worse right there now. Uh, inspired by the Sword and Sorcery comic book of the same name by Don Might uh, Entertainment, Red Sandra is based on the heroine originally um, created by form of a comic by Robert E. Howard and subsequently adapted by Roy Thomas. While the character is described as a fearsome warrior boasting a high degree of skill with a uh, sword, details as to the film adaptation plot um, have been kept as closed. Hannah John Kamen uh, was previously set for the film's lead in Red Sanja, but she stepped aside due to seeing out in conflict. With Les now set to play the title character, uh, Will um, Will Stay will portray her wicked half sister Anissa, with Shihan set to play uh, Dragon. The film was originally set to be directed by a uh, transparent um, writer Joey Stalloway, but instead they would just be uh, writing the script now. So there's that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, of course, um, Red Sanja did got turned to feature film um, back in the 80s with Bridget Nielsen, Schwarzenegger, one of his earliest roles. Uh, so, this should be interesting to see. Uh, now, Lutz's, you know, um, recent projects include Paramount uh, Zone 414 with Guy Pearce. Uh, she was also in the Rings movie. Uh, she spent some other stuff here and there. Uh, so she, I mean, she was awesome in Revenge. If you guys have never really seen Revenge, that which was like a revenge-based movie, like a uh, horror-based film that got released a few years ago, back in 2018, I think it was, go watch Revenge. That movie is really fun and really showcased her, you know, um, her as an action hero. So that has me a tree. Uh, so, yeah, not bad castles here. And looks like production has also went up is, um, like, filming is also on the way, so I also believe this movie when I actually see the thing, but hey, this is some progress, I guess. Hopefully, it'll be some decent. Uh, we'll actually see how, if this thing even shapes up to be any good, because like I said, it's from the same director of Solomon Kane, which, yeah, that movie was not all that great, so uh, we'll see how this thing um, shapes up. Anyway, uh, uh, let me leave you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Matilda Luz being cast as a Tyro in the new Red Sanja? And what are your thoughts on some of the other cast members? Are you happy that Red Sanja is finally getting up to speed? Were you ever a fan of Red Sanja? Whether it's the comic book, the uh, classic Agent Nelson film? And do you think this movie has any potential to be any good? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for one notification. This is Simu Saiha.